Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a FNAF game in Scratch. So we're going to do the main menu today. And so what you want to do is basically make a model for your main menu screen. And this is my model. So I'm going to drag it over to the side. And then you want to duplicate that. And then make him look creepy. So you could, like, you know, maybe just just make him look creepy. That's all that matters here. Okay. That's not creepy enough. Let's take this whole arm and let's rotate it. And let's make it all black and weird. And then let's take his other hand and make it like a weird shade of red. Just for the purpose of this video, you can take this to any level you want. Like, you can even make an exact copy of the game. But that would take a lot of time and effort. So, this is my creepy form, normal form, creepy form. Okay, so, now, you want to drag in this script, of, you want to do this script of code, one flag plate, go to, zero, zero, and switch costume to costume one, or whatever you named your first costume. Switch costume to costume one. And, yeah, so you want to do switch, and then, you want to do switch costume to your second costume, wait 0.3 seconds, switch costume to your first costume, your third costume, or your second costume, sorry, then your first costume, and then your th second costume, and it should end up looking like that, which is creepy. So, yeah, once you have that, you want to go to your backdrops and fill it in black. If you're in vector, you can just make a giant black square and drag it to the center. And I'm not going to make his hand black because that just won't look good. I'll make his hand, let's do, um, something that can be seen. That. Nah. Okay, let's just leave it like that for now. Um. Yeah, okay. So, you want to make your background black. And then you want to, in your backdrops, background, you want to type in, in a gray, five, or no, I'm going to do one <clears throat> night at hex arcade. Okay. So, once you got that, you need to adjust it. I did it wrong. One. 
night at Texas Arcade. You want to make sure it looks something like that going down vertical because that looks the best. I mean, you can do whatever you want, customize it, but I'm just going to go with this for now. So you want to drag it up here. One night at Hex's Arcade, that's what my title is. So, now, we need to make a play button. So let's print, paint, paint a new sprite. Make a, up to about this color. Make a button, like that, and add text to it, and write, Play in black and then yeah okay so you want to do you want to drag your play button right underneath there and do once I clicked go to or go to wherever you want to put it I'm just going to put it here. And then you want to set size. Set size to, I'll have to go about 50. See how that looks. Ooh, that's too off. I want to do 75. Maybe. Yeah, that's better. So, okay. Um. Let's change that. Okay. So, once you have that done, you want to actually make it function. So, what we're going to do is paint a new backdrop. And then make it whatever color you want. I'm going to make it black. Or, no, we need... A newspaper yes so you want to go up here and type in five nights at Freddy's news newspaper and go to images and you want to select this one then you can save your image to I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. And then I'm going to upload it and do Okay. So, once you have your newspaper, I'm going to rename it Newspaper you want to go to your sprite too, and then do forever, if, or you know what, yeah, you want to do forever, if, you want to pick, and, then you want to do touching mouse pointer, in the and, and mouse down, You want to broadcast newspaper. Newspaper. And then you want to go to your backdrops. And do when I receive newspaper. Switch backdrop to newspaper. Oh. And we need to do. One five click switch backdrop to backdrop backdrop one. So you have that play. And then oh and then you want to do when I receive newspaper, you wanna hide all this. Hide. And hide.
and you want to do one five click show because if you don't they're going to disappear forever basically okay yeah but i'm going to add a little tweak to this instead of doing this i'm just going to leave that there and then i'm going to get rid of the newspaper and i'm going to upload a sprite and i'm going to upload the newspaper as a sprite So I'm going to do one flat click hide. And then when I receive newspaper, show. Okay. So now this should work. Yes, it does. But I want to change and set your size to 200. Oh, that's it. No. It's... Oh, you know what? I'm going to go to the news. No. Okay, I'm going to select the newspaper. And then, like. Just about change its size. Yeah, so then I can change its size to 150. Let's see how that looks. Yes, and then go to zero zero. Maybe not zero zero. Yes, not zero zero. So we have this, and our guy twitches, and we can play, and yeah. So, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!